Kia ora, I'm Sheree Kinnear and here's everything that happened while you were sleeping on day 7 of the Paris Olympics. It's been another successful day for our New Zealand team here at the Games with another medal to add to the tally. The men's 49er duo of Isaac McCarty and William McKenzie has claimed silver in Marseille, continuing our proud record in the event. Crossing the finish line and just jumping in the water and celebrating with the Spanish was um, incredible. I'm very proud. After impressing in the qualifiers, a medal tumbled out of reach for Dylan Schmidt in the trampoline gymnastics final. It's, yeah, it's hard to not be proud of, of, of sort of what I've achieved and yeah, I'm obviously gutted like I would have wanted to get through my routine and, and see what score I could put up but what can you do? Earlier Maddie Davidson made the final of her trampoline event where she finished seventh overall. The women's duo of Jackie Kittle and Shannon Cox just missed out on a podium finish in the lightweight double skulls final. Meanwhile, Tom Saunders is currently fifth in the men's dinghy with six races still to come and Greta Pilkington sits 36th. A lack of wind in the afternoon then saw the foils finals postponed. At the athletics, Zoe Hobbs ran a season best in the 100 metre heat to progress to the semis. Sam Tanner finished outside of the top six in the men's 1500 metre heat to drop down into the ripper charge. And both Tom Walsh and Jack O'Gill have qualified for the men's shot put final. Ryan Fox nailed a birdie on his 16th hole to take him to two over par in the golf today, while Dan Hillier is now six over par and sits second to last. Finn Butchers finished in sixth overall in the men's kayak cross time trial, while Luca Jones ranked an impressive fourth for tomorrow's opening round of the group races. The Blacksticks finished their Olympics campaign with the disappointing 2-1 loss to Ireland and Sydney Andrews was eliminated in the judo after her first bout. And that's it for day 7, let's take a quick look now at the medals table. China stay in the lead with 27 medals, the US are in second with 41 total but just 9 gold, New Zealand have 6 and sit 12th overall. As day 8 gets underway, you can stay up to date with the Herald's live blog and I'll be back tomorrow morning to bring you all the news. Listen to live commentary of Paris 2024 on Gold Sport and iHeartRadio. And follow the action at nzherald.co.nz.